In 45 seconds, you will be doing the best and most effective workout you have ever done. This 2010-5 method will transform the way you go through your day. It will help you with your weight loss goals and introduce you to the world of dumbbell strength training. Today, we'll accomplish 20 minutes of cardio to help you lose that stubborn fat, 10 minutes of targeted dumbbell strength training to boost your metabolism and strengthen your muscles, and five minutes of deep core to strengthen your pelvic floor, improve balance and posture, and tighten your waist. Now, if you're new to this, don't stress. I'm your coach, Joe, and I'm gonna guide you through this full body build. You're gonna see amazing results, but you've gotta stay consistent to see true and lasting results. All right, let's do this. Let's arm circle forward, warm up those arms. We're gonna warm up those legs, get our steps in. This workout is gonna be amazing, and I know you can make it all the way through with me. Just follow my lead. Okay, and back. Good job. Open up that chest, open up your arms. Now press out and step out. Good. Keep your core tight, keep it engaged. We're gonna learn more about that in our last five minutes. But for now, do your best. Good job, now we're gonna punch and kick. Punch to the opposite leg. Good job. That's it. Keep it tight. Now let's walk it out. We're gonna be getting really good at breathing through the hard parts and pushing ourselves mentally today. Are you game to do that with me? We're in this together. Okay, now we're gonna dodge, let's go. Dodge, dodge. To the left, to the right, and back, and back. To the left, to the right, great job. Get low if you can. If not, stay up here. Low, 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 low. Good job. Walk it out. Smile. I wanna see that smile beaming through as we go through this workout. Movement is always a great reason to smile and be happy and thankful that this body is yours and that you get to feel great in it. Let's go. Okay, let's squat and punch. Squat and punch, do it faster. Remember, maybe you're not able to come all the way down into the squat, just push your hips back. Hinge at your hips. Do what you can where you're at. Great job. Walk it out. We're getting those steps in. Getting your steps in today is going to be super easy because of this workout. We came to the right place. Walk like you mean it. Okay, let's pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades, and squeeze your hamstrings. That's it. 
squeeze, work back here, here. Great job. Keep everything nice and tight. That's it. Fuck it out. Try to lift your feet a little bit more off the ground. Step, 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 step. That's it. You got it. Keep going. I'm your cheerleader. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a big row. Row, row, punch, and punch. Row, row, punch, and punch. Good. Probably starting to feel warm. The great thing about this cardio is that it's warming our body up, preparing us for the weightlifting and the core work. Walk it out. Great job. Just enjoy the music. Keep stepping. Bring those feet up a little bit more. We're gonna lift our knee up and punch in the same direction that our knee is going up or the side. Activate your core. Your obliques are gonna start feeling this. You may feel it in your hip joint. Try to tense your core to get the most out of this exercise. It's a twist and a crunch. Walk it out. Good job. Don't be afraid to add your own spice, your own flavor. This workout is not just looking one way. You make it look how you need to look for you to enjoy it, for you to make it yours. Let's do the other side. Great job. Good, you got right into it. That's what I wanna see. Using that core, twist and crunch. Feel it working. Don't just go through the motions. Good. Deep breath. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. That's it. Prepare yourself. We're gonna go into a squat. Squat down. Lift your heel. We're working those calves, okay? Getting down and dirty with these calves. We got this. Let's see if you can speed it up a little bit. If not, just stay here. Good, feel those calves activating right here in the back of your legs. Right here, below the knee. There you go. Walk it up. Great job. Oh, the sweatiness is starting to come. Next, we're gonna be working our triceps. That's this muscle right here. We're gonna slightly bend forward. And as we work, we are gonna step back, alternating our feet. Ready, let's go. Create that tension in your triceps. And you can also feel the back side of your legs activating as you do these moves. 
Please be intentional with every movement. That's how you're gonna make the most of this workout. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nice. We always come back to this walk during our cardio portion. This is gonna help you regulate your heart rate. It's gonna give you an opportunity to breathe in and out. And it's gonna allow you to prepare yourself for the next challenge. Okay, so we're gonna work the chest, but we're gonna get in a squat when we do that. Press out. I want you to activate your chest by squeezing and pressing between your hands. Activate your back by pulling back. Press out. This is our time to create that mind-muscle connection that we're gonna use, especially when we grab those weights. So practice thinking about the muscles that are working. The chest is squeezing, the back is squeezing now. And let's stand up and walk it out. Our walking intervals are also a great opportunity to shake out our legs. This is your opportunity to set an intention for the rest of this workout. Is it to finish strong? Is it to show up? Is it to do something new? Let's put our arms out and up and down. If it's to challenge yourself in trying a new way of exercising, you're right on the money right here. You're in the right place to challenge yourself and see amazing results. Okay, let's walk it out. Good, you can swing your arms right here. You're doing so well. Can we give a little bit more? Can we give a little bit more enthusiasm? Can we give a little bit more energy? Where are you at right now? Come on, push a little bit further. Let's go. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Raise the roof. Feel the tension in your shoulders. And smile, because it feels good. We're raising the roof. focus on right now is the challenge that you're giving yourself right now. Not the challenge that comes tomorrow. Not your entire goal of where you want to be. Focus on what you can do right now to make progress. Let's step and twist as we step. So you're feeling a twist through your core and an activation through your hips. That's it. Great job, let's walk it out. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great right now. We only have a little bit left of this cardio. We're gonna go into water break. And then we are going to go right into core after that. Sorry, strength then core. <laughs> Don't wanna get ahead of myself. <laughs> Do you see how we don't need to be jumping. 
We don't need to be doing crazy moves to get our heart rate up and to burn some fat and to get our sweat on. No, it's not necessary. We can do low impact movement and see great results. It all comes down to consistency. And I know you and me, we're gonna get consistent together. We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make it a habit. We've got this, okay? Okay, next we're gonna do a combo move. You gotta show me what you got. Crunch, punch, crunch, punch. So you're gonna have a twist through your body and punch out. Twist, punch, twist, punch, that's it. Oh, that feels good. Good job. We're gonna do the other side. And after that, we only have a couple more exercises till we pick up those weights. As you can see, I'm very excited to pick up those weights. I hope you are too. And if you're feeling a little bit apprehensive, that's okay too. I'm here to show you, I'm here to be your coach. Okay, other side, twist and punch. Twist and punch. It's okay if you get it a little mixed up. I do too. That's so normal. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Thank God it doesn't have to be perfect to work. We wanna maximize our form and maximize how much we're getting out of the exercise. But that doesn't mean it has to look exactly how mine looks. This next exercise, I like to call it my confidence exercise, because you'll see we go from small and then we make ourselves big. And when we show that posture, we're showing that we can be confident, that we can be strong, that we can take up space. So let's go, squat, space. Confident, small, confident. You're practicing expanding into that beautiful being that you are. There we go. Feeling strong and confident in your skin. You're a star. Lift your feet a little bit more. That's it. Okay, get behind your mat. Shuffle to the side, reach and up. Good. Nice. Back to your original position where you can move and groove. That's it. I love to see you enjoying it. Okay, let's grab some water. We are gonna hydrate, get ourselves ready for what is to come, which is our strength. 
Great job. Now that we finished that cardio and we got our sweat on, we got all warmed up, we are going to be grabbing those weights. If you have a five pound weight, that is great. 10 pound weight is great as well. If you have both, you can alternate. Now we are going to be moving into some strength moves. I'm going to guide you every step of the way. So don't you worry, take it at your pace and let's keep going. Okay, let's grab those weights. So grab the small ones if you have two sets. We are gonna squat down, stand up, curl, and press. Curl, press. Good. Squat, stand, curl, press. Squat, Stand, activate those biceps, activate those shoulders. That's it. Squat, stand, curl, press. Okay. Between each of these exercises, you're gonna have a 20 second break to collect yourself, to find out what the next exercise is. And if you have two sets of weights, grab the one that you wanna use. Okay, so we're gonna bend forward and we're gonna alternate which arm is rowing. You're gonna act like you have a pencil between your shoulder blades. And every time you row on each side, you're squeezing that pencil tighter into your back. Pull the rows into your hips, not right below your shoulders. Pull them into your hips. There you go. Keep that back nice and straight. Core activated and chest up. You're proud to be doing these exercises. Stand up, deep breaths. I'm gonna be using the small ones again for the next interval as we are working our triceps. Bend forward, row, press back with your left. Bring it down, press back with your left. You should feel your tricep, your left tricep working. Keep your core pressed into your back. The benefit of working one side at a time is that you can make sure that they're equal, equally as strong. There you go. Good job. We're gonna do the other side. This time I want you to focus on keeping your chest up. And I want you to keep a flat back. Nice and flat. In my university days when I trained athletes, I would literally put a wooden dowel on their back so that they would keep their back nice and straight so that they could just align their spine with that dowel. Think of a broomstick just hanging out on your back. How flat do you need it to be for it to stay there? Good job. I'm gonna put down my five pound weights and I'm gonna grab my 10 pounds. You're gonna use one at a time. If you don't have heavier weights, you are more than welcome to use the weights that you have. This one is a power move. We're gonna do a snatch and clean. Start on the ground, lift it up, and press up, okay? Start on the ground, lift, press. Lift, press, good job. 
Put your arm, your opposite hand, wherever you feel comfortable. And let me break this down for you while you're doing it. So you're gonna hinge at your hips to go down. You're gonna push your hips forward, push your knees forward, lift up. You're gonna have a little bounce and press when you press up. You're gonna press your knees straight. Let's do that again. Hips back, press them forward, up, press up. That's it. We're gonna do the other side. Remember, hips back, then forward. As you lift it up, little bounce, press up. Let's do the other side. That's it. Put a little more power into it. Whip your hips forward. There you go. Great job. Push your hips back and forward. Press up. Keep your back nice and straight. Your chest always up. Not like this. Keep it up. There you go. Great job. I'm gonna grab both of my heavier weights. These are 10 pound weights. Again, if you have smaller weights, that is totally fine. We are gonna grab both of the weights and we're gonna rack them on the front of our shoulders like this. You're gonna press your hips back and you are gonna press up with your left arm. Press back, put all of the weight into your heels. You should not have your toes pressing into the ground. What I want you to focus on is putting all your weight in your heels. That's gonna activate, fire up your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads. You're gonna be working every muscle in that large muscle group. And then at the top, we are working our shoulders. Take your time with it. There's no need to rush. Great job. Put them down if you need. We're gonna do the other side. All right, let's do this. Rack, push your hips back, weight in heels, press up through your heels and press through your right hand. Do that again. Do it as fluid as you can right now, or slow it down if you need to. Weight is all in your heels. If you think of nothing else, think of that. All your weight is pressing through the backside of your body. Good job. Put those heavy weights down. Grab your smaller weights. I'm using five again. This one's gonna be another tricep exercise. And we're gonna use our legs as well. You're gonna hinge at the hips, bend forward, keep your chest up. You're gonna tap back. And as you tap back, you are going to extend your hands behind you so that we activate our triceps. Even as you curl that, you can intentionally use your biceps to curl it back. Use tension to your advantage. I am dripping sweat right now, not only because of that cardio start, it's because I'm really focusing on that mind to muscle connection, activating the muscles that are doing the work. There you go, stand up. We have one more exercise. You can use the small weights for this one. It is two types of curls. So we're gonna curl in front of us and then out to the side like a W. What I want you to focus on is keeping your elbows right there by your rib cage. Do not have them out here. Do not have them behind you. Have them right here. You're gonna curl, and then you're gonna curl out to the side. Good. 
That's exactly how it's done. Curl. We're not rushing anything today. We are staying right where we need to be, doing each move with as much intention as possible. If this is your first time lifting weights, great job. If this is your 20th time or 100th time lifting weights, great job. There's always something new to learn. Okay, little break right here, put your weights down. Grab some water. Great job. I'm really proud of you for pushing through, for really focusing on activating those muscles and getting strong and intentional with every move. Now we are going to move down onto the mat to do some deep core focused work. If you don't get this the first time, it's totally okay. Today we are treating it as practice. I know you got the rest of this and we are gonna finish strong. Let's keep going. All right, I'll meet you down on the mat. This exercise has a funny name. It's called a dead bug. And the reason it's called that is because you are literally going to look like a dead bug. If you ever get dead bug and bird dog mixed up, think about what it looks like. Now we are gonna focus in on our core, our deep core. Bring your arms straight up over your shoulders, knees up over your hips. And what you're gonna do is you're going to extend your left leg and bring it back. Extend your left leg and bring it back. Do the other side, right leg, right leg. Now let's do it with our arms, opposite arm, opposite leg. There you go. Try to extend as far as you can. Great job. Do a couple more. There you go. Next, we're gonna set ourselves up again. Our knees are gonna be in tabletop. You're gonna bring them up here like this. You're gonna have pressure against your knees, just like so. And I want you to create tension. So your knees are pushing up against your hand. Your hand is pushing up against your knees. Now what I want you to do is tap your left foot down while still keeping that pressure on the opposite side and do it to the opposite side right here. Such a simple movement, but we're creating tension the whole time. Focus on keeping your lower back as close to the ground as possible if it's not touching the ground. And maybe you are in a place where you can't quite do that. So just lessen your range of motion. Maybe it's just right here. Good, rest. Deep breaths. As you breathe out, clench and tighten your pelvic floor. It's like lifting up the bottom of your core. Tighten and release as you breathe in. Okay, we're gonna plant our heels, lift our booty off of the ground, put your hands flat down, and we are gonna march. So in this march, you are gonna need to stabilize with each side of your core. So when you're lifting this one up, the opposite side is stabilizing. Tighten your glutes, tighten your pelvic floor. You should feel a tightening happening. There you go, release. Slowly, great job. Next, we are gonna do a little bit more challenging of an exercise. You are going to bring your knees again into tabletop. You are gonna straighten your left leg. Create tension if you want here and here. And then we are just gonna lower and bring it back up. Let's do it. Lower, keep that tension right here. Bring it back up, bend. Lower, bring it back up, bend. Lower, create that tension, don't let go of it. Bend. 
That's it. You might feel a little bit shaky. If you're shaking, you're doing it right, okay? There you go. Come on up. Now, if you didn't feel your deep core working, that's just something that we're gonna have to continue to work on as we go through this series. There is going to be four more of these workouts that you can follow with me. We're gonna do a cool down right now, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what's happening in the last four videos of this series. Okay, so you're gonna lift your leg out to the side and you're gonna reach over fully lengthening that side of your body. Grab the ground or your leg, feel that release happening. We did a lot of unilateral movements, one-sided movements, so getting this release on both sides is really gonna help you. Put your other leg out and reach over. Good, feel that release. You did so great today. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. Get on your knees, nice tall knee stance. Activate your core. We're gonna breathe in and press out. In and out. One more. Great job. We did it. Do your little happy dance. Great job. Congratulations, you made it and I am so proud of you. I'm Grow With Joe and I accomplished this 35 minute full body build. See you tomorrow.